ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஹாய் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் எ ஜாவா ப்ரோக்ராம் டு சர்ச் ஏ நம்பர் இன் எ கிவன் அரே யூசிங் ஏ பைனரி சர்ச் அலுகரிதம் லெட் எஸ் டேக் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் அரே ஹேவிங் த எலிமெண்ட் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ ஃபோர் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் செவன் அண்ட் வி நீட் டு சர்ச் த எலிமெண்ட் ஃபைவ் இன் எ கிவன் அரே லெட் எஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் இஸ் பைனரி சர்ச் அலுகரிதம் பைனரி சர்ச் is a more efficient searching algorithm used in a sorted array by repeatedly dividing the search interval in half first binary search we compare the given value with the middle element of the array then we can directly return saying that element found in the middle index if the given search number is not equal to middle index then we need to see whether the key is greater than the middle index or less than the middle index if it is greater than the middle index then we can eliminate the first half of the array as it will present only in the second half of the array in case if if the given number is less than the array middle index that means the key value present only in the first half of the array second half of the array we can eliminate that means the half of the array in which the element is not present can be eliminated and search continues on the remaining half of the array until the the search value found in the array let's take an example of array having the element 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we need to search for number 5 in this array so as discussed earlier we need to find the middle index of the array which can be found by adding start index with end index divided by 2 in the first iteration start index will be initialized with the value 0 and end index will be initialized with the value array length minus 1 and we find the middle index by adding start index plus end index divided by 2 in the first iteration we check whether the search number key is equal to equal to middle index then we can directly return saying that element found in the middle index if the given search number is not equal to middle index then we need to see whether the key is greater than the middle index or less than the middle index if it is greater than the middle index then we can eliminate the first half of the array as it will present only in the second half of the array hence we need to change the start index x by middle index plus 1 end index still remains at array dot length minus 1 and again we find the middle index by adding start index plus end index divided by 2 in case if If the given number is less than the array middle index that means the key value present only in the first half of the array second half of the array we can eliminate to do that we need to change the last index end by initializing its value middle index minus 1 now again we find the middle index by adding start index plus end index divided by 2 and this loop continues until we find key element is equal to equal to array of middle index finally we return that middle index as a required index let us practically implement this program using java first we'll add a main method initialize and declare an array int array is equal to initialize with element 4 5 6 1 the binary search algorithm can be performed only on a sorted array first we need to sort the given array using arrays dot sort the inbuilt method present in the arrays class arrays dot sort of array which will sort the given array in a ascending order and store Store the sorted array back into the same array ARR. Let's print the array to the console to confirm that the elements of the array are sorted in a ascending order using system dot out dot println. Let's run the program. You can see that array is sorted in a ascending order. Now let's take the number to be searched from the user by using the scanner class. Scanner sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in. Print a message to the user asking him to enter. a number to search using system dot out dot println we capture that number using a c dot next int method and we store it into variable search number of integer data type finally we close the scanner class object now let us add the core logic to perform the binary search algorithm as discussed earlier we need three indexes for this a three variables int low int high and int middle initially int low or start variable we store we initialize with the value 0 int high variable we initialize with the value array dot length minus 1 and we calculate the middle index inside the while loop as we need to perform this operation each and every iteration 
Now let's add a while loop. While lower index is lesser than higher index, then only we can loop through the array to find the given element present in the array or not. Else we can directly print saying the element doesn't, doesn't present in this array. Inside the while loop, we calculate the middle index by adding lower index plus higher index divided by 2. Now, first we check whether the search number is equal to the value present in the array of middle index. If yes, then we can directly print saying the given number present in the array at, at specified index. And we can break the while loop. If search number is not equal to the value present in the middle index of the array, we need to add a else condition. Else if we need to check whether search number is less than the value present in the middle index of the array. Then if it is true, then we can eliminate the right part of the array by initializing the higher index with the middle minus 1. Else, if the search number is greater than the value present in the middle index of the array, then we can eliminate the lower part of the array by initializing the lower index with middle plus 1. In the iteration, if you find a condition where lower index is higher than the higher index that means the search number is not present in the given array itself we can directly print saying the given number is not available in the given array let us add one more element 9 to the array so that we can understand the complete algorithm in a better way let's run the program enter the number to search enter 5 given number 5 is available at index 2 in a sorted array let's rerun the program Enter the number 3. The given number 3 is not present in the array. Uh, let us debug the program now. We can see that the program control reached the line number 21, a debug point inside the program. Initial value of index low is 0. Initial value of index high is 4. 0 plus 4 divided by 2 is mid index is initialized with the value 2. The search number is 5. The value present in array of mid array of 2 is 5 5 is equal to equal to 5 as yes, the condition is satisfied we print the given number present in the array at index 2 and we break the loop let's table the program again enter the number 6 initial value of lower index is 0 higher index is 4 the middle index low plus high 4 by 2 the middle index will be initialized with the value 2. The number to be searched is 6. Array of 2. The value present in array of 2 is 5. 6 is equal to equal to 5. The condition is not satisfied. We don't enter into the if condition. In the else condition, we check whether the number 6 is less than 5. No, condition is not satisfied. Then we check the condition in the second else part where the given number 6 is greater than 5. Yes, the 6 is greater than 5. Then it means then we need to search for the given number in the second part of the array. First half of the array we can eliminate by using low equal to mid plus 1. Now the low will be initialized with the value 3. We check the condition A is low is greater than high, 3 is greater than high. No, again we don't enter into the if condition. In the while loop, we again check the same condition. Is low less than or equal to high, 3 less than or equal to 4. Yes, we find the middle index by adding lower index plus higher index divided by 2. Lower index is 3, higher index is 4. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 by 2. That is nothing but 3.5. So we take only integer value from 3.5 that is 3 and we store it into variable mid. The if condition we check the given number search is 6 is equal to array of middle index that is array of 3. The value present in the array of 3 is 6. 6 is equal to equal to 6 as yes, the condition is satisfied we print the output saying the given number 6 present are available at index 3 and we break the while loop. Thanks for watching.